they promise not to fall in love with each other but of course they will because that is what the book is about it has started raining i have just started recording and it has started raining it has started raining woohoo <laughs> hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is matri and if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because here we talk about books and films and art and health and education and all that stuff that matters and today we will be talking about all my reads of 2021 now this is the part 2 of that video i have already posted the part 1 i had to convert it into two parts because the part 1 was getting desperately long so if you have not watched the part 1 of that video make sure that you watch it i have read seven more books some of them i am reading right now and some of them i have finished some of them i loved and some of them made me really angry so yeah we'll talk about that and you can hear the rain in the background because it is raining right now i hope you enjoy the sound of the rain with my voice <laughs> a few moments later hello there so this is 1 hour later it started raining so much that i could not continue recording but it has finally stopped and yeah without any further ado let's get right into the video have you ever read a book that instantly charges you up that makes you want to go out in the world and do what you really love and live the awesome life that you have always wanted to live well the first book that we'll be talking about is just that It's called You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero and oh my god what an experience so i basically listened to it in the audiobook format and i'm so glad i did because it is narrated by Jen Sincero herself i think and she has done an amazing job at it So it's basically one of those books that tells you why it is so important to get out into the world why it's so important to do the things that you really really love doing why it's so important to follow your dreams about how to build an empire and you know how you can manifest it all it has some really really amazing quotes by some famous personalities it has great humor and overall it is a fantastic book that i think that everybody should read it but i would suggest you to listen to the audiobook format because it's a fairly short book and uh, the audiobook is just amazing like the way that she has narrated it it is so uplifting and so inspiring and so awesome you know and as i said i listened to it in the audiobook format and i would recommend that you listen to it in the audiobook format too because first of all it has been very well narrated and second of all you can easily find it on youtube so it's just 6 hour long so you should be done with it very very soon i am sure that i will go back to it time and again because it tells you to be your badass self and you know once in a while you need that reminder so yeah i will go back to it and you should too Now talk about really really enjoying a book and loving it throughout only to get so angry at the end that you cannot even finish it. The book that I am talking about is The Authenticity Project by Claire Pooley. Now it is termed as the feel good book of 2021 and people are just loving it and expressing how much they enjoyed it. And I did too. I mean except the ending of course. So it's a debut novel and she has done a really good job at it it follows the story of many people actually so there's this diary it's titled as the authenticity project and an 80 year old julian jessup makes an entry into that diary he writes about how well do you know the people around you how well of your truth do they know and he goes on to write about the truth of his life in the diary he then leaves it to someone else a stranger he picks it up he reads it he writes his own story and that's how many people pick up that book they read it and they write their own stories now it's a really good concept and uh, like so many people who are complete strangers they come together and they become a family and as a piece of fiction it was really nice to read and i did not have a problem with all of that too but the ending i mean i think that 
the author wanted to catch its reader off guard and uh, in that attempt it brought about a twist that wasn't even needed so there are two twists at the end one i really really liked which was good and the second one was where she shifts to people who are complete opposites who have no chemistry no chemistry whatsoever and she shifts them and i got so angry i mean that was totally unneeded i don't know if that's a word it was utterly inappropriate and it was not called for i mean why would you do that they do not belong with each other it was just so frustrating to read about them falling in love with each other and i got so angry i could not even finish it i left it at 92% i guess i was really enjoying it but i could not get through the ending i don't remember a book making me so angry but <laughs> i could not finish it i mean tell me if you have read this book did you find that twist you know what i'm talking about did you find it totally uncalled for or did you like it i did not like it i did not like it and i would not ever like it no <laughs> science student i feel ya bro <laughs> now having been a science student the amount of knowledge that i had about money and finance and all of that stuff was in negative now i am not talking about all the science students you can have the knowledge about it but i am talking about me personally i did not know what to term as a liability what to term as an asset i did not know how to make a balance sheet and all of that stuff but then i found this really really amazing book rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki now i am not going to talk much about it because it's so well known and you know uh, it's very popular so might be you already know about it but if you do not know it basically follows the story of this kid who has two dads rich dad and poor dad so poor dad is his own dad and rich dad is the dad of his friend it's very hard for me to read non fiction but this particular piece of non fiction didn't feel like one because it has a very storytelling kind of vibe it basically tells about the decisions that poor dad made which made him poor and the decisions that rich dad made which made him rich so it's as simple as that and a great 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 book because before i read this book i had zero knowledge about finance but now having read it i can say that i know a thing or two about finance which is great for a person like me and uh, if you plan to read it i would suggest you one thing you should have conversations about what you have read in this book and about money with the people who you know know something about money so it could be your parents it could be your brother your sister your grandparents anyone just have conversations about money about what you have read in the book and apply it in real life because that my friend is going to help you moving on to the next read of 2021 so my next read is the kite runner which i already have made a video about i will also leave it in the description or somewhere around here and uh, what do i say about kite runner i cannot say anything that hasn't already been said about it yeah i made a video about it but that's just my feelings okay so Kite Runner is you know one of those books that changes you one of those books that breaks your heart one of those books that you carry with you forever and uh, you know if you would like to know my thoughts about it make sure that you watch the video i have talked all about my experience reading it a book so 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 close to my heart i love it i love it so much Now my last 3 reads of 2021 are basically the books that I started but I haven't finished yet. It's not like I'm reading 3 books at a time because I cannot. But uh, these are all the books that I started at different points of time but haven't finished yet. So the first one is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. The second is Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian which is the last book in the Percy Jackson series and the last one is Beach Read by Emily Henry. Now I started Turtles all the way down very very early in this year but I could not finish it for some reason. So it basically 
is written by John Green who is by the way my favorite author and I love his writing so that's why I picked it up because I wanted to read all the books by him now um, this particular book it deals with mental health and mental illness so there's this girl Eza she is germophobic and she has this cut in her finger that um, she keeps on opening she keeps on cutting it because she fears that germs could be resting on that wound bacteria could be there and she thinks that the wound has not healed and the germs will enter her body and it will eventually be the death of her so she goes on in these mental spirals that she just cannot get out of and you know it is a beautifully written book but then it gets very uncomfortable at times because you know when you imagine it it makes you uncomfortable in real life and that's an attribute of a good book still it was difficult for me to get through it i think that's why i did not finish it i am about 70% under the book and i will read it i will pick it up the next book is Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian. Now I was very excited and I still am very excited to finish that book. But um, so I was reading it. I have a paperback. I'm about 100 pages into it. But then I am preparing for an exam right now, which is why I have to sit in front of my laptop for the whole day. And when I used to sit to read it, my eyes used to hurt because of all the time I have spent staring at the screen and therefore I kept it aside for a while. I will finish it very very soon but I just need time and a day where I don't have to study. So yeah that is Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian and therefore I started listening to the audiobook of Beach Read by Emily Henry and now I am so in love with this book like how do I tell you? It is a boost of serotonin and <laughs> I am loving it so 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 much. I am 7 hours into it. It is a 10 hour audiobook and I have 3 hours left of the audiobook and it is so good. So basically it is the story of January and Augustus who are two college rivals. They meet after years of their college. They are both writers and uh, they both write different genres but they are both facing a writer's block. Now they are neighbors, they meet and um, they, you know, decide to write each other's genres. They decide to write books about each other's genres. Therefore, they have to meet, therefore, they have to, you know, teach each other about their genres and uh, they promise not to fall in love with each other. But of course, they will because that is what the book is about. And I'm so excited they are already falling in love and I'm so, so, so loving it. So yeah, those are all the books of 2021. I did not count how many I have read, but yeah, I I could not read as much as I wanted to, but I will make sure that I read more in the future. I really enjoyed talking about all the books that I have read because reading books is one thing and talking about books is another thing that I love. So tell me if you have read any of these, tell me your favorite books because I always ask people about their favorite books because I love reading other people's favorite books. So yeah, how are you? Tell me what you are reading and if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I will see you with another video very very soon of course and we'll talk about great stuff. Until then, take care, see you, bye-bye and lots of love.